So today I'm going to be making a battery tester in order to test the capacity of a variety of batteries. I have some battery review videos coming up, so I'm going to need a way to test them for capacity, and this is what I've chosen. Torch is about $20, comes with a screen, 200 amp shunt, uh, voltage sense cables, and all you need to do is hook your negative through the shunt, a couple of wires for the voltage sense, and that's pretty well it. So it also connects through Bluetooth up to my laptop. So on here, I'll be able to see graphs of what's going on and I'll be able to have my amp hour, kilowatt hour. I can see my amp draw as well as my voltage while I'm running my tests. Pretty simple device. Uh, I'm gonna show you how I hook it up. So to hook this up, I'm gonna be using some two gauge battery cable as well as I'm gonna run some light gauge cable just to the lugs of the battery so that I get a direct voltage off of the battery and not just at the device here. So that'll give me a much more accurate reading. I also have a professional grade multimeter that's gonna allow me to do any fine tuning calibration on the torch before I do any type of a review. And that way I will get the most precise readings available. Also on this tester, you can either power it by USB or you can have your own positive negative cable going to an external battery. This one's powered by USB so I don't lose any data. Now to hook this up, all I need to do is make some crimps with my hydraulic crimper, put some battery lugs on. And there we go, a nice crimp. And then I will finish it off with some heat shrink. Perfect, on to the next one. Now this is a welding cable. You can see it's multi-stranded, two gauge. Doesn't get much better than this. Okay, now that's all it's left to do is uh, make my connections. So I'm gonna have the load on this side here, my inverter, and the batteries are gonna be sitting on this side here. So I'm gonna want my lug straight up against the shunt for best accuracy. Okay, now on to my second cable. I'm gonna secure them with some clips. There, now these clips will hold this device down to the piece of wood. And now I need to run my battery positive. So now for my battery positive, all I'm gonna do is just clip it down here. Okay. There we go, now I have my battery positive and battery negative. So now what I'm gonna wanna do is run my sense wires into the device here. Okay, there's my tester. So this is gonna be my load side and this is gonna be my battery side. So let's get a battery, hook it up and see what happens. So back in the day, people used to use batteries like this flooded lead acid for their solar. That's my will joke of the day. This is a 1500 pure sine wave inverter. And let's see if we can sneak the laptop in here. Can I? Ooh, yeah. Okay, let's plug it in and see what we got. All right, and there you go. You can see already we have our volts, but let's change our graph a little bit here. 15, 100. That's as much as my inverter can do. Okay, let's get a load and we'll hook it up and see what happens. Loads, where are my loads? Okay, for my load, I've made this uh, incandescent lights here. This will give me a nice steady load and that way I can do proper testing. And I also have a dimmer switch. So in case I need to go up or down with my load, I can. Okay, uh, I've got to switch these two lugs around. I didn't realize it, but when I switched the board around to mount it, uh, I wasn't no longer gonna have my load on this side. My load has to be on this side. Bear with me for a minute. I'm gonna swap this around. I'll be right back. And there. Now with the power of film, we're switched around. Got my load on this side now and my battery on this side. 
and there you go now you can see we're drawing almost 500 milliamps at about 6 watts so the standby consumption on this inverter is 6 watts which is pretty good okay let's fire it on you can see on the graphs here now if I increase the power there you can see it coming up on the graphs that's pretty cool for a $20 little unit it's pretty awesome increase it a little bit more yeah you can see it bumping up there now let's decrease and you can see it dropping off and we'll end the test so just in that little span I've used 2.35 amp hours that's pretty that's got a lot so also uh, a couple other things this has is uh, you can hook up a positive and a negative for a relay and you can have it click on or off if you have a low voltage or high voltage also there's a temperature sensor an external one there's an internal sensor uh, as you can see internal temperature I don't have the external temperature hooked up right now I don't know if that would show on here but it would show on here so this is the a torch this is going to be my battery tester moving forward if you like this video, subscribe, like, comment. Thanks. Bye.